And another enforcer training tip on tuning a pro bar. A couple things that are really crucial, they're, they're slight changes, but they make a huge difference when you're gonna start forcing doors, especially tough steel doors. Get a tight shot on these two forks. When they come from the factory, this is our one that's just right out the box. They've got this machine edge on both sides, with these little transitions. Changing that and just grinding it smooth to where there is no transition makes a huge difference when you're trying to grab the edge of the door as you're trying to get a, a good purchase. Another little trick about forcing a door with very little room, if you're down a hallway, down the end, bottom of the stairs, you and your striking firefighter might not have the real estate to have them sit back and strike the ads at the end of the tool. You can take the shoulders and grind them square. So if you've got a striking tool, you can run it along the, the body of the tool, hitting that squared off portion of the fork and actually getting a, a decent amount of force. The second change on these is on the ads end. A lot of these Halligans, you know, any manufacturer, they tend to machine the inside edge down to a, a point. I've taken mine and I've machined the outside edge here. The reason being is if you're going to use the ads to force it into a, a door that's outward swinging, I want this inside edge of the ads to grab it and be able to crush it. Let's take a look at on this door. If you take this ads, you gap it. Now it's time to set your forks in here. Just because of this machined edge right here really sits flush against the skin of the door, you come in here and you're trying to feel and get that spring of the door to know your fork ends have been grabbing the edge of the door. It fails to do that the way these are machined right out the box. Take this tool that's been, again, just a little bit of time with the grinder, stick it in that same spot, all of a sudden I can grab the edge of that door, feel that flex. When I feel that flex, that's when I wanna ask for a hit from my striking firefighter. Without this, you're kind, of feel, you're kind of flying blind. A lot of forcing an inward door is by feel. I wanna feel that flex, ask for a hit. Little more I'm gonna take, ask for another hit. If you ask for too much, this tool could very likely pop out before I get through forcing the door. On outward swinging, Again, the reason I like to take this tool and bevel just the outside to a point, not the inside, is when I come in here and I ask my other firefighter to hit this tool, driving it in, I want to be able to take that inside to grab it as I come down and crush the outside of the door. Without that, if I have a bevel here, oftentimes that tool is just going to roll out, I'm not going to grab it and get the crush I want. A couple other things. I don't mark this tool up because I like to train with it and I don't want to have you know, new firefighters just doing it by autopilot, but some people take a grinder and notch basically where the crotch of this tool is. Here I've just taken a Sharpie and made a mark. This allows you to gauge easily both top and bottom you want to make the mark. When you're setting your depth of your tool in, when your fork is deep enough to where you can then transition from striking, you know it's at a good depth to where your fork will pivot on the back side of the frame, then you gotta pry your door. Same thing with the ads, you can mark at an inch and three quarter depth, standard door width, that'll tell me how deep to drive it. When I reach my depth, I know I can stop. If I go further, I risk going into the door stop and tearing into that as well when I'm trying to crush the door or guide this around that door stop. Second thing is, you know that if you're going to fall short, you run the risk of crushing the door and not reaching that inside door skin. 
you might just end up tearing that seam and then you've got a crushed door with an intact inside door skin making it a real tough situation. So this is a true steel commercial door. We're going to show on this door, just like the enforcer door, that difference that taking these little machine edges off the Halligan does. We come in here, you're going to gap it. Now I'm going to turn my fork around and here's where if you get a nice tight shot, it's very difficult for my fork to find the edge of that door to be able to roll the tool around it guiding it past the door so I'm not going through the door I'm also not taking my fork and going into that door jam. Now we get that tuned pro bar same thing come in here you're gonna gap it I got a nice grip because I machine the inside sorry the outside not the inside and we come in here and now I got a lot of feel my fork dives in my beveled edge feels the edge of that door. Now I'm going to ask for a strike and I'm going to get this through this door a whole lot quicker. You do these couple things to a stock pro bar and it makes a very difficult tool to use both inward, especially inward and outward, to a tool that will make things much, much easier for you.